afternoon, good evening, wherever you guys are. Welcome back to my third episode of Together We Can. My name is Queenie. I'm just going to go into our activity um, and topic for today. But before I start, like, well, guys, like, we are already in week five of our quarantine time. Um, we have all been practicing social distancing, staying safe, staying at home. Parents out there, you guys are the rock of the family. So continue to be an inspiration to your children and kids. Like, wow, can you believe we're already in week five? And I don't know how long more this will last, but like your patience should be well recognized because this is, well, this is not the norm. This is not what we're used to. We're used to going out, interacting with kids and other families and other people. And for parents, we're used to going out and like working um, and going to the groceries without fear of touching other people. So parents, children, everyone else, uh, you need to be well recognized for all your efforts that you are doing to protect yourself as well as, as the community. So without further ado, um, let's get on with our exercise. The title of this uh, episode is called Dreams and Under the Sea. So you can well imagine we're going to be talking about daydreams um, as part of our topic. Our activity is going to be creating sea creatures that you are most drawn to um, out of saran wrap and then decorate our windows with it. Oh, just before um, I go on with the activity, at any time, feel free to pause and rewind or anything um, within this video, just so you can get all these equipments and materials um, and gather and unpause when you have everything together. So let's just go right in. Um, for this activity, I decided to create jellyfish because I am obsessed with um, jellyfishes because there's something about jellyfishes when, and by the way, there's over th 35 species um, that exist that falls under the jellyfish family. And every single species of that jellyfish is absolutely stunning to me. It's bioluminescence. Um, that means it, it glows in the dark. There's some the protein within that jellyfish. I think it's absolutely stunning. So because I am so inspired by jellyfish, I've decided to create a jellyfish uh, imagery. But for you guys, parents, child, guardian, whatever fish that you are most drawn to, um, feel free to make that instead of the jellyfish. I'm going to share a link of several links below from aquariums actually. There's a lot of aquariums, just so you guys know um, out there. There's the Monterey Aquarium, there's the Georgia Aquarium that is really um, keen in providing online trainings and online education on aquarium species. So one of the aquariums, I believe the Monterey Aquarium, they provide activities and imagery of all different species that live in the sea and so we can also grab go to the website grab an imagery and just have it in front of you so you know how to draw it um, when we're ready to create that um, activity let's get right on it uh, we are going to need saran wrap Paint, whatever paint you have available goes. Um, it doesn't have to be any particular paint, any paint. I just had uh, dyes and paints available from my past projects. So I'm gonna be using those. So the colors that you're gonna need, all has to associate to the species that you want to create. So if you wanna create a, a jellyfish, blue, purples, um, are the colors that you want. If you are wanting to create Nemo, obviously you're gonna need black, white, orange, pink. Um, so think about the colors, the species that you are wanting to make, and then grab those paint colors uh, so that you can paint that. 
that species. Okay. And we're gonna need paint brushes. And once we add color onto the saran wrap, we're gonna have to wait for it to dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and create that um, lay down the saran wrap. Okay. First layer, we're gonna do three layers all together. So once you have three layers of saran wrap ready, I'm gonna lie it down onto the surface of the table. So, so I'm gonna start off. All you're gonna do once you have your paints ready. Um, so you'll see, I have my paint ready. I have blue, purple, and sort of like aquamarine green uh, color. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and paint the surface of the saran wrap. And we're gonna, we're not gonna be detailed because all we're gonna do is think of it as if you're painting the fabric. And once the fabric is painted, only then will we cut out the object so um, it doesn't have to be um, perfect at the moment. We're only adding color onto the surface of the, um, of the saran wrap. So once you have um, painted your first layer of uh, color onto the saran wrap, we're going to let it dry. It's going to take some time. Let's go on and discuss the topic of the hour. The reason why I decided to do um, Under the Sea is because it gives us a state of calm. And so that's the reason why I wanted to talk about daydreams because who doesn't daydream, right? Um, as a Pisces, I spent a third of my life um, since I was a baby till even now daydreaming. Um, truth be told, when we daydream, adults, child alike, we're in a sudden state of calm. Our mind is calm, and so it's very important that we have we spend some time daydreaming, allowing ourselves that ability to say it's okay to daydream. You know. Um, and so as parents, you know, listen to your child's stories, their dream, their daydreams, their stories that they create in their minds are real to them. It's not for us to say that's not real. That's not right. It is just their form of interaction um, when they are being creative they're coming up with random creative fantastic stories um, they're great storytellers as children and so we need to give them that space and not say hey you know that's that's not real uh, because to kids it's daydreamings daydream stories are as real to them as anything else um, in life uh, to them let them be creative. Let them tell their story. Listen to their story. You don't have to agree to their story whatsoever. Just a simple nod and um, acknowledgement to their story is more than what they're asking for. Um, it's because what is real to the child is, is also their voice to their opinion. And so if I were to quantify daydreams, I would like to say that 95% of our daydreams are unattainable, unrealistic, non-factual, and that's okay. And then the 5%, there's some truth to that, uh, to the daydreams. It speaks to our personality. It speaks to our individualism. Uh, it speaks to what we internally want to happen. And so it's, we can use that 5% to put in actions in place to make that a, a portion of our dream a portion of our desires to be attainable so there's in every single daydream 
um, every single story that we have, there's a little bit of truth. And so, and how we discover that truth, I cannot give you the answer, um, nor can you give the answer because I'm very sure only the person who daydreams uh, will discover that truth. Um, and it's really up to that dreamer to put it into action and no one else. And so let your kids daydream all they need to do. So as long as it doesn't, it's not harmful, it's not harming anyone. It just allows them that creativity that gives them that skill sets to be creative, to think outside the box. Um, and as long as they are fully aware of reality, of what is actually happening versus um, non-factual reality, then it's okay. As parents, as guardians, it's also okay to daydream, you know? Share your daydream with your child. Um, it's simply a platform uh, to share with one another. And so, you know, take this time and share with each other, share the space. I'm gonna allow you that time to pause this video and once we return back to the video, it shouldn't take more than me, perhaps half an hour or more to complete this exercise. So I invite you back once your paint on your ceramic wrap has dried out. Okay, see you later. So welcome back guys. Um, hopefully by now your piece is absolutely dry and ready to proceed. Um, and so let's get right on it. I'm gonna go ahead and layer on three more uh, pieces of saran wrap on top of the paint that we had just added on top onto the first three layers. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. to um, use we're gonna require heat to melt the saran wrap just a little bit so that it becomes instead of six layers it becomes one single material so that we won't be able to tear it apart so by applying the heat on top of the saran wrap we're gonna be able to slightly melt the saran wrap into one single piece of layer okay so we're gonna go ahead and heat up the iron and we're gonna need another piece of cloth to iron on top because we're not gonna apply the metal plate on directly onto the saran wrap so we're gonna need to have a piece of cloth on top okay okay all we're gonna do is apply heat and that heat will melt the six layers of saran wrap into one layer we're gonna and once your iron is hot um parent or guardian if you can help your child iron their piece of work that would be amazing. Um, so let's go ahead and iron. So once you have applied uh, the heat, allow it to cool down for a good 10 minutes we don't want to handle it while it's still warm and it really needs some cooling time in the meantime put away your iron and bring back with you an outline so whatever species that you want to make um, print it out draw out the outline of the species and um, we're gonna draw that species onto the saran wrap so we're gonna need a pen a marker or a chalk well as a pair of scissors so feel free pause the video come back in 10 minutes okay with everything all ready just tape it on the corners and start to draw the outline of your species, be it a fish, a shark, or a jellyfish, whatever you want. Um, just a little tip is don't make it too detailed. Just we only want the outline of the species because we're gonna cut the outline, cut the shape of the species. I do not have an outline of the jellyfish, but um, it's, 
um, I have a, a painting that a friend had given to me and I absolutely adore it. And so I'm going to use this as a reference point to draw out the outline of the jellyfish. <music> Once you have put your uh, species onto the window, this is how it's supposed to look. Pretty cool. Now that you have your window decorated, um, you know, feel proud of what you've made together. Um, child, parent, guardian. Uh, I think this is a part of probably one of the more intensive uh, activities that I've ever taught um, to kids. And so, you should be so proud of yourself by making and making something different, um, something that it's not so out there. And if you really like this technique, feel free go ahead and just uh, create more objects. And because the thing about art is, it's about teaching the technique. And if it speaks to you as a individual and you will like that technique, you can go ahead and just sort of explore how much more can you push this technique based on your skill level and so feel free to explore do some more objects decorate your whole window with the permission of your parents and guardian and um, yeah you know I would love to see what you guys uh, came up with uh, what you guys created with the session so feel free to share your photos and your comments um, on my Instagram story so I'll f leave my Instagram that you can follow uh, below and um, you know when we share more stories and when we share more activities together I mean we make a bigger community and we're we're better together right and so uh, feel free to if you have any comments about the session how to improve what you would love to uh, learn um, from a tactile fashion uh, material perspective you know put it on the comments and say hey I want to do this um, so right about now let's wrap up and give you back that space um, and I'm looking forward to next week uh, to share the space again with you so children be amazing parents guardians be amazing uh, because children create the path to our future and so together we can and right about now I'm gonna say peace out and I'll see you next week